Hey, so Mohammed asked a question on the protein synthesis section of the Ultimate Guide to A-Level Biology. He asked, does splicing take place when RNA nucleotides are attached to the DNA strand? First of all, Mohammed, I'm just going to say when you're writing RNA, DNA, these are acronyms. They need capital R, capital M, capital A. If it's messenger RNA, then it's a lowercase m, capitals for the rest of it. So just be really careful on that. The new exam spec wants you to be really, really tight on your terminology and things like that could lead to loss of marks in the exam. Okay, so back to the question. Does splicing take place when the RNA strand is attached to the DNA strand? Simple answer, no. You create during transcription, you are transcribing the DNA into messenger RNA you then form and that includes the introns and the exons so that is still remains inside the nuclear envelope and you have the strand of pre messenger RNA it's called and that includes the introns and the exons splicing you don't need to know anything about the mechanism it is controlled by enzymes like all biological reactions are splicing you just remove the the introns, the exons are exported, is the way that I like to think of it. So the exons are retained. Then that forms the messenger RNA that does not contain the introns. And the messenger RNA leaves the nuclear envelope via the nuclear pore, goes into the cytoplasm. And that's where the ribosome will attach to a you know, start triplet on there, start codon, and then it will read across. And then the tRNA will come in. And obviously, that's when translation is going to take place in the cytoplasm. So be really careful with terminology. Uh, you don't need to go into too much detail on splicing. There are a few questions on it. Does it contain introns? Yes or no is the major thing they always ask. And does it? where does it take place inside the nucleus? You also had a, gave me a bit more detail in your question. You said, does it when it leaves the cell? Remember, the messenger RNA is leaving the nucleus. It's remaining inside the cell. So tiny details like this, again, are just going to demonstrate to the examiner that either you really know your stuff or that you're still lacking a few details. So be tight on your terminology, and I hope that helps.